Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Beauty Meets Business. I am your girl, the empowering Angel Robinson. And this, and this is the beautiful Tiffany. You guys already know, you guys love Tiff. We're back, Tiffany hair braids. I already relaxed her. We did a touch of color because Tiffany has a gray patch for you guys that already know Tiff, and I just wanted to cover it. I'm going to point cut her hair today using thinning shears. Did you guys hear me? I'm going to point cut her hair using thinning shears. So stay tuned. I right, said, so you guys, yes, somebody said in my last video that I do the same cut. Believe it or not, the cuts haven't changed over the years. Technique has changed, but the cuts haven't. So I'm going to part her hair from high arch to high arch, creating a U shape. Using my thinning shears, one sided notch, the other side is a shear and a carbon cutting cone. I always start to my right, because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, start to the left. I'm gonna create my guide. You can do this wet or dry. I'm pulling the hair out at a 90 degree angle, straight from the hair. I'm gonna work my way back around, part the hair. I like to call these pizza slices. Pull the hair out, straight out from the head. 90 degrees, straight out. I'm gonna catch my guide here. This is considered a traveling guide. I'm working my way from right to left. And my guide is already pre-cut. Tiffany hair is so thick, I'm just going back through, removing some of the bulk. That's exactly why I decided to use thinning shears. I'm gonna work my way to the top, and I want this to be a little heavier and this to be short moving forward. So I'm gonna split this in half. Then I'll also split this part in half. And I'm gonna make pizza slices again, pulling the hair back towards my guide is here. I like to call this the rainbow cut because I like to cut out, it creates a rainbow. This will be considered a 45 degree. See how nice that is? You can see that cut. See how it moves? You definitely want the hair to have texture. That's what these finish shears does. They give the hair texture. I'm gonna go in and show you guys how I give it spiky pieces. So I'm gonna break this in half. I want my spiky pieces to be here. So I'll hold it out and I'll go in and cut deep into the hair. And those short pieces will make those long pieces stand up. I'll show you guys again here. Pull the hair straight out, go halfway down the hair shaft, cut, and those short pieces will make the long pieces stand up. See, it's already standing up, it gives it volume. All right, moving towards the front, I wanna keep it exaggerated, so I'm gonna split this in half as well, pull it back to the rest of the hair, 
find my guide and then I'm gonna cut. And since I'm pulling it back, it's called over direct. Same with this side. I'm gonna over direct the hair, find my guide and cut. I'm simply pulling the front back to the rest of the cut and just basically making it blend. I'm gonna go back up front and I'm gonna cut just a couple short pieces in front of Tiffany's hair right here to give me that stand that I'm looking for in the haircut. Like I say, short pieces make longer pieces stand up. Okay, so this time I used a guanidine hydroxide relaxer, which is a sensitive scalp relaxer, but it has calcium in it. So every six months I take Tiffany off that relaxer and I use a sodium hydroxide. The reason being is because I wanna clean that calcium off the scalp because it creates a nasty buildup. And if you guys don't know that, please change your client's relaxers at least every six months. And it goes either way, sodium hydroxide or guanidine hydroxide. There are several different relaxers. Know the client hair. That's how you choose a relaxer. There's several different relaxers. I cannot stress that enough. Stop using the same relaxer on everybody. You have potassium, you have lithium, you have sodium hydroxide, you have ammonia dioglycolate. It's so many different relaxers. Choose the right one for your client. So now we're gonna to get to the mode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Influence Honey Foam. You guys already know, Nairobi is the truth. But this thing is running. It is on Nairobi's ass. You might want to try this out. You guys already know my mode. It's called the Hurricane. This one is called a partial hurricane. I love this one because I can keep this part of her hair straight up funky while I make this part do what I want it to do. Look how smooth that mold is, you guys. Excuse the color. I gave Tiffany a shampoo tint. <laughs> All right, now the mold is finished, as you guys can see. I'm gonna put Tiffany under the dryer for about 35 minutes, and then we're gonna curl her. And I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy the way I curl her. See you guys soon. All right, beautiful people, the beautiful tip is out the dryer and we're ready to give her these beautiful, funky, funky, super funky <laughs> curls. You guys are gonna love this. I'm doing tip very soft today, but very fun. You guys are gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna put a little oil on her hair and you guys always ask me what type of oil I use. I use anything. I don't prefer one thing over the other. And like I say, it's always about hair texture and tip hair is very thick. So I'm gonna use a little chi oil. I love chi because it has heat protectors in it as well. And it give it a nice shine without weighing the hair down. And I kind of work it through. I'm gonna spray a little Formations by Design Essential all through her hair without making it hard. Comb it through. I don't like hard hair. All right, so because of her hurricane mode, the partial hurricane mode, I start curling here and I go with the flow of the hurricane. I'm gonna use my very, very, very worn out ions. <laughs> don't judge me, I work. All right, I'm gonna start curling this part here and I'm gonna pick up my Thrifty H2 Pro, 3 tenths of an inch macro flat irons. And like I said, I'm just really working this oil in the hair. I don't really want real defined curls because I want Tiffany to have that funky look, funky but polished. I'm 
gonna go here and I'm gonna make this funky cold Medina. Pick back up my ions. There's really no rhyme or reason to the way I curl hair. I kinda just go with the pattern of the way I mold it. Last but not least, we're going to use these right here. You guys already know. And this Super 120 Ion. We're going to just clean up her hairline. All right, she's all curled up and ready for the comb out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that curling technique. I know I was all over the place, but it's my personality. I don't know what to tell you guys. So come close for the comb out. Maybe I should have said the finger out. <laughs> I did more fingering than I did combing. But hey, however you gotta execute it. All right, what do you guys think? Please give me the thumbs up, it's so important. I am now a YouTube partner, so please give me the thumbs up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as we did. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and share this video. This is just a tutorial. It is not a class. If you want a class, please contact me at 980-295-2040. Contact me for shadowing or classes at 
980-295-2040. And I will be glad to give you a one-on-one -on -one or a group session with this particular cut or any cut on my YouTube channel. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at crazyaboutangel for more of these beautiful looks and styles. And if you want one-on-one -on -one classes or shadowing, make sure to just reach out to me via telephone, 980-295-2040. That's 980-295-2040. Remember, at the end of the day, this is just a tutorial. This is not a class, people. So make sure you call me if you want a one-on-one -on -one class, group training, or shadowing. I am so looking forward to meeting you. And remember, no matter what nobody say or tell you, you are unstoppable.